Today, Catherine Porter of the Toronto Star wrote a bizarre article about meeting me at the Global Warming Rally in Toronto on Sunday. I call it bizarre because it just didn't happen the way she says it happened. It's not that her fibs are particularly devastating. I mean, she didn't accuse me of anything drastic. She just changed a bunch of little facts so that she could write her story with herself as the hero and me as the villain. As in, it's not reporting, it's made up. If you want the long version of the story and if you want to see the entire 5 minute and 42 second videotape of our complete encounter, you can find it elsewhere on this page or just click right here. But here's the short version instead, really quickly. Catherine Porter says her daughter had a fight with me. She also used the word brawl. But the video shows that we had a very pleasant chat that was age appropriate. Take a look. So what's your name? My name is Lila. Hi, Lila, I'm Ezra. Do you believe in climate change? Well, it's a good question. I, I think the obvious answer is yes, because over the course of thousands of years, the Earth gets warmer and colder. Have you ever heard of the ice ages before? And we're not in an ice age now, right? Are we in an ice age now? So then I guess, and there's been more than one ice age, right? So the Earth has warmed and cooled over the years, right? I mean, if it, I mean, tell me if you have you heard of the ice ages? Have you, ever, you know, when the Earth was covered with ice? Then Catherine Porter says I was a bully, and I was belittling a man dressed as a chicken. But the video shows I had a great time with the chicken guy, laughing and joking with him. Take a look. How can I not talk to a guy in a hat like that? What's your name? Peter. Peter. What's uh, is that a rooster? Uh, chicken, or I think it's a chicken, actually. No, but, no what? But I'm not chicken to speak or anything. You know? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I like that guy there. He's got a... I was distracted by the four uh, protruding udders. The udders, yes. It's <laughs> utterly ridiculous, I think. But, uh, and I don't belch, personally. Oh, come on. Everybody does. <laughs> you toot occasionally? Yeah, of course. Doesn't everybody? Well, yes, and that's my point, is how can you be against farting? Uh, we're not against it. You're an anti-fart activist. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, oh, you're pro-fart then. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not. joking around. Catherine Porter says her daughter marched over to accost me. Well, that's not true. And even if it were true, I would never have interviewed a minor child. The videotape shows the end of Porter repeatedly calling me over, calling me over and asking me to interview her child and then legally consenting to that interview. Take a look. Permission. Oh, yeah, no, I just my name is Catherine Porter. I need permission to talk to my daughter, Lila Burke. Okay, hi. Catherine Porter says it was so traumatic that her daughter told me, quote, you're being mean to my mom. Well, the videotape shows that while she surely wasn't pleased that I was debating her mom, she just didn't say those words. She said, you're talking to my mommy. You know that, right? Here, take a look for yourself at the videotape. Man. Nice to meet you. Go away with your right wing agenda. It's nice talking to you. See you guys later. So am I furious that Catherine Porter made up a bunch of goofy details in her Toronto Star article? Well, a little bit. I mean, because she claimed I conducted myself inappropriately, but I didn't. But I've had worse things said about me by better people than her. What's really more important to me is just what it says about the media party. How a reporter, even a mommy blogger like Catherine Porter, feels no compunction about making things up to score a political point. The ends justifies the means. Except for this time, we had a video camera running. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.